What's up guys? It's your girl Leah. So I bet you're wondering where I've been. So a lot has happened in the last couple weeks. I got a stomach flu. I was sick for like a whole week and so this weekend is a photo shoot that I'm going to be doing with Lindsay and the Wonderless girls and I'm really nervous. I am sitting on my bathroom floor and um, it's like storming really bad right now and so I'm literally just going through all my makeup and stuff that I'm going to be using. It's a Halloween shoot so we're going to be using a lot of purple and green and a lot of fun stuff. I'm like I said, I'm really nervous, but I think I can go through with it. A lot of people are saying I'm good at makeup, so we're going to test them skills, but <clears throat> um what do I want to tell you guys? There's a lot. I did get a new palette and Hang on, let me get it. All right, so the new palette that I got is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette, the first one. They like launched two other ones, and this is really expensive, so you know. So this is a pressed pigment palette, and it's a pro palette. So if you're not really good at makeup or blending or whatnot, like I wouldn't waste your money on this unless you're like a professional but if you want to get better I don't discourage anybody that wants to get better so if you feel like you need to get it or whatever so this is the palette it's really pretty and like I said this is mostly pressed pigments so you're gonna run into staining you're going to uh, have to blend until your hand hurts most of the time um, but once you get that down you're good so I tested it out for the meeting with the models I'm going to be doing this weekend I tested it out and wore it and it was really pretty um, I still haven't dove in deeper because like I said I got sick so 85% of this palette is pressed pigment. Um, the pans are big. It's, I believe, $60. I'm not 100% on that. I might be including shipping and whatnot and taxes, but it's kind of pricey. But it was worth it for me because I'm going to probably dip into this a little bit with the photo shoot but um, I'm mostly going to try not to stain <laughs> my model's eyes because you know they do other things and I don't want to put that on them for a couple of days um, but this is a re really good palette for people that want to get better and who are professionals I am not saying that I'm a professional I got it because I wanted to get better with my blending skills so, take it for what it's worth. It's up to you if you would like to spend that money. Um, I got this off the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills website. Um, I also did get an eyeliner. This retails for $18. Um, I'm going to be using it on the models. Uh, one of the models. Because I'm weird. Like, with... Uh, using eye like mascaras and eyeliners um, and I like constantly clean and sanitize my things um, unless like I get a weird like laziness bug and don't clean them in which I've kind of outgrown that it's kind of become like a ritual to always clean my sponges clean my brushes because you don't know what type of bacteria can grow and stuff like that and I always like to keep things clean but back to the mascara and eyeliner thing once you use um, the eyeliner on a person that isn't you um, and you don't have like a disposable applicator I 
you just, I would say just give it to them, to be honest. Um, because you don't want, I don't like sharing those germs. Or if you have a sanitizing wipe, you can also do that. Uh, I know Nikki Tutorials, she did a thing where she walked through London and uh, asked people for makeup that they had on them in their bags. And uh, I was like, ooh, oh, that's, that's rough. But she was like, I got a sanitizing wipe. We're totally cool. I was like, oh, okay. Well, then I guess that's okay. I'd, I'm still iffy about that. Like, if I'm using it on your lips or something like that, see there's ways around like lips and stuff because you can take a brush and do it like off the applicator, but I don't know, I'm just really weird about that. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else coming up. Uh, Halloween, obviously. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go and do Boo at the Zoo with my kid um, in a couple weeks. It's gonna be fun. Um, thank you for the person who got me free tickets to that. Your gym. Um, let's see. I opened my boxy charm without you guys this month. I'm so sorry. I was just like, I just want to see what what I got. Like, you know, I didn't want to wait because if I could use it for the photo shoot this weekend, I was gonna use it. But I didn't get anything that. Oh, I did get one thing that I'm probably going to use, but it's nothing special. It's a, um, it's an eyeliner pencil, uh, just an actual pencil that I'm going to use for the waterline. Um, but I did get, uh, an eyeshadow palette, Blushing Berries Dose of Color. Um, it's a really good spooky vibe little eyeshadow palette um it's really cute comes with a cute mirror and a brush i love it when eyeshadow palettes come with brushes because that just adds to my brush collection i've told you that before like i'm obsessed with brushes <laughs> give me all the brushes um i did get a lip plumper and it's not as good as my buxom that i use i use buxom uh, lip plumper and I got Iconic London. What is the shade? Love Struck. And this is it. It's got a light, like, peppermint scent to it. But nothing beats that buxom because it makes my lips go... Um, this one only slightly plumped them. Not as good as I want them to. But that buxom, it actually tingles a little bit. <laughs> it's got... It's got the plumper in it, the tingle. Um, also, I got a spray in conditioner. Like I said, Boxy Charms like uh, all over the cosmetic like map, skincare, hair, whatever. Because I did put, I would like some hair stuff. Um, I got a Touch and Soul face balm. I did try that out um, after one of my uh, regiments one night. And it's really nice. I like it. I love Touch and Soul. Like, I'm done with all the other primers in my life at this point right now. Like, I'm so happy with Touch and Soul. Like, there's really nothing that anybody can recommend to me right now. And, I mean, if you want to, you can. And I'll be like, oh, I'll give it a shot. But that Touch, touch and Soul is awesome. Um... I'm trying to see, remember what else I got. Lip plumper, eyeshadow palette, eyeliner, the conditioner. Um, I'm sure I got something else, but I just can't remember at this moment. I'm just kind of packing things up right now because I'm going to figure out what I need and stuff. Oh, and my cousin Rachel got me an early birthday present. It's a Betsy Johnson makeup bag, and it fits almost every single one of my palettes in it, except for Blue Blood, in which Blue Blood is a... Y'all have seen it before. It's huge. It's a, it's a freaking coffin. Um, and she got me a new eyeshadow palette. Mm. Sorry, I was doing a test run. I'm trying to find it. 
Um, I think I put it up here. Yes, I did. Okay, here it is. It's Tarte Pro Remix. And I have to work on it so because um, one of the pans got damaged when she was walking out of the store. And I'll try to show it to you. Well, actually, two of the pans. One of them keeps getting worse. It smells like vanilla. Um, that black, I gotta put some alcohol in it and repress it. But I can't wait to work on that and see what looks I can come out with with that. Thank you, Rachel. You're the best. Mwah. I love you. So, oh, also my birthday's coming up on the 20th next week. So, you know, give your girl a shout out if you want or whatever. Um, I'm trying to look through all my palettes right now to make sure I don't need anything that possibly I can use. So, I can minimize my traveling. Um, but I... Hope you guys are having a great week, and I miss you, and I will be back on schedule as soon as possible, okay? And I think we're going to film the shoot, so keep an eye out for that video coming out. Alright guys, love you. Mwah.